I always range from spiritual and angelic guidance. I'm here to do the reading for Cancer and this will be for February 2021 for the first half. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my page. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Um, don't forget, though, it's a general reading, so it's not going to suit every single person out there. Um, take, what's, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, don't forget, also, time is fluid and energy is vice versa. All right, let's start. Cancer. One more. Um, I'm going to find out one card from this deck um, for the energy of the read. Then I'll also be doing um, a card from the Romance Angels. And I'll also do one from my new deck, um, which I got, The Wisdom of the Oracle. All right, so card for Cancer for February, first beginning of February, please. A card for the energy of Cancer for the beginning of February, please. Five of Action. So that's the same as the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is about competition, conflict, disagreements. You might be going through court. You might not know where you stand with the person. Um, but the angels want you to know that your current challenge pushes you to be assertive and self-confident, be willing to stand up for yourself and defend your position. You have the right to excuse yourself from those who bring drama into your life. So I feel like that's an important message for somebody. On the bottom, you've also got the Messenger of Thought in reverse, which is... The Page of Swords in Reverse. Page of Swords in Reverse is about you having limiting beliefs, um, knowing that you're on a spiritual path. Um, you need to redirect your energy. It also talks about there's so much for you to learn before you are ready to move forward. So if it's about a relationship or something, there's a lot to learn before you actually move forward into a relationship. You haven't learned what you needed to learn yet. Maybe you haven't released the ex. Maybe you haven't cut cords with the ex people. Maybe you haven't actually completely got these people out of your life. That's an example. Um, so there might be some new information that may require changes to your plans. Um, if you're signing any documents, be careful. Make sure you check them carefully. So just, yeah. All right. Romance Angel, please, for Cancer. So far for Feb. Yeah. For the moment, it's all about expressing... Expressing your love, um, but also loving yourself first. So there might be a situation where you need to actually make a romantic gesture. But also, at the moment, you need to focus on loving you. Um, you're looking for true love, but I feel like what you ended up with was somebody who there wasn't really any attractional chemistry enough to keep the situation going. You may be in separation with this person. As I said, I feel like you think they're your soulmate and soulmates are people we learn from. They're not people that we end up with, but they're honest you choose, but generally they're people that just teach us things that are not so nice. And then we can, you know, move on to our, our person. Um, but you need to forgive and learn from this situation. And I feel like you're not, you're not going to reconcile with this person. Okay. Cancer. Feb. Card for Cancer, please. For Feb. Cancer for Feb. Again, Feb. Card for Cancer. No, too many. I just want one, please. Okay. Throwing two at me. And one of them was the one that peace. Um, things are going to take time. You've got TikTok under that. Um, so time is, is important right now um, in the situation. You've also got 23, which is peace. And this is about freedom from the attachment. And if, if it's about a relationship, it's like um, when people are actually properly in their true alignment with one another, they have that innate harmony between them. They are, they are as two perfectly tuned instruments playing together. So, you know, that's important. I mean, you've got to have that peace. You've got to don't be codependent. Don't stop being codependent on other people if that's the situation that you're in 
um, that will never that will never end well. Um, you're not really wanting to get out into the community and just be out with your friends and and get out of your comfort zone. I feel like you're just really wanting to, yeah, like you want to be understood by others, but I feel like you sometimes feel like you don't. But it's also, it's knowing your place in the world and going out, spending time with your friends. Like, I feel like because you are maybe possibly codependent, you you don't really want to do a lot of that because it's all about love for you. Um, but you need to love yourself first. And I mean, that talks about getting out there and being confident and all that sort of thing. But I feel like, yeah, that's not really what you want. You want someone who's going to love you, but I feel like that's not actually happening right now. Um, the last one you've got is 25 and it's called round and around. So it's like, there are things, there are cycles you need to break. You're not breaking them. You, you're just resisting breaking them. Um, and there's things that we, lessons that we need to learn from, you know, like you go through a situation and you learn from it and you move on, you break the cycle and you move on. You don't because it's in reverse. You're, you're going round and round and round in the same situations and you're not learning from them for a lot of you. You are still reliving the same things or you keep going round and round and round with the same person, same situation, same patterns, all of those things. It's like round and around and around, like a bloody roller coaster, but you like, you know, it's like this, the same thing over and over. It's like learn from it. Break the pattern, which all maybe that comes back to you loving loving yourself first. Like maybe you really need to work on your self-confidence and you being codependent. But we'll get some tarot and we'll find out a bit more information. Tell me more. Cancer for February. Oh, deception. That is not a surprise, to be perfectly honest. Cancer. Cancer, beginning of Feb, tell me more from beginning of Feb for Cancer. I feel like you keep attracting the same things over and over, which is also round and round and round. You keep attracting it because you don't want to move on. On the bottom of the deck, you're resisting moving on, you know? You think, oh, we could try again. I don't want to walk away. We'll see what happens. But all it ends up with is you going through emotional loss. It's the same round and round and round pattern I was just talking about. Um, so the first card you've got is Deception and Envy. Oh, you probably can't see that. Deception and Envy. It's like the devil energy. It's somebody, but it's also somebody who... Uh, it's all seven of swords is all about theft and betrayal and dishonesty and somebody running away maybe they ghosted you maybe they were deceptive they wanted to get away with something and they were acting strategic could be any of those things but we'll find out more information and I feel like that's the pattern you keep on reliving I mean more yeah you need to break the cycle. You need to, this is you fearing the change and wanting to avert disaster. But I feel like eventually this will happen. And if it hasn't already happened, this will happen. It will be some sudden unwanted change. It's an upheaval, chaos, revelation, awakening, something that just causes ruin in your life. You, yeah, you need to, somebody was, somebody was with other people, giving to other people, there might have been a third party situation, they were probably much like the devil energy, you need to detach from them, um, it will end up with the ten of swords, where you end up with a complete and painful ending, but you will eventually move on, and then when you do move on, you are going to find somebody who gives you your happy family, your contentment, because somebody is going to come in slow moving, but they are going to come in with an offer for you. So just remember that you need to break the cycle. That's what this is. You don't do it. The universe ends up saying, oh my God, enough is enough. Like I think even the universe gets sick of you doing the same shit. So they end up saying, okay, well, we're going to make it happen for you because we don't want you to keep going round and round and it's enough. We've seen you go round and round so many times with the same energy, the same people, the same whatever, round and round and round and round. It's repetitive. 
You're not learning from the situation. Then you've got the heart chakra. I mean, that's all about self-love, unconditional love. You know, like you probably need to heal your heart because you've been hurt as well. Tell me more. Yeah, seven of swords. Seven of swords. You need to protect your heart now. And you've got seven of wands. So seven of swords is exactly the same card as this. Same card. Seven of Swords is that horrible energy where someone's doing you wrong. Whether it's betraying you, they were deceptive, they ghosted you, they want to get away with something strategic, whatever this is, you need to heal your heart because you've been through crap. Um, and you've got the Seven of Wands, as I said. So you're in challenge with somebody, you're in competition with somebody, you need to protect yourself, protect your heart, persevere, stand your ground, which is what it said over here. It's exactly the same. Same card. Oh no, sorry, this was five. This was seven. Here you are going through the conflict. You don't know where you stand with somebody, but here you are actually having to protect yourself and stand your ground. Both of them are about standing your ground. Spend time with friends. The one that fell out as well was Page of Pentacles. And that's about somebody new who... Um, it could be you manifesting somebody new. Um, maybe you've been manifesting more of this negative crap because you're so focused. If you are so focused on something, you're manifesting more of that. So if you're thinking about this person who did you wrong with the Seven of Swords, they were dishonest and deceptive and whatever, you're manifesting more of that. And I feel like it's telling, telling me you are manifesting more of that. Because you keep putting up with it. And you're, you're, by you putting up with it, you're saying to the universe, that's okay. That's okay behaviour. Okay, then we have sacrifice in reverse. And that's the same as the hangman in reverse. You are stalling. You are resisting. You are indecisive. Um, delaying something new coming in because you are hanging on to the past. Tell me more. Yeah, you need to take back your own power. Somebody was very dominant, like, what's the word, domineering? Um, so very controlling. But you need to take back the power in your own life now. Be the leader in your own life. Don't let anyone control you. Just, yeah, take back your own power. You've also got the two of wands. So, yeah, you might fear the unknown. You may have no plan for your life. You may have goals that you want to achieve, but you've made no plan. Um, that all causes, you know, impatience. You want things to happen now, now, now. But are you doing any of the work? Um, instead, all you've got, because you haven't done the work and you're manifesting more of what you've already had, it just causes dissatisfaction. You're not getting your wishes coming true because you're attracting people that are very hostile, whether they're cheating, whether there's mind games, whether there's violence, whether there's whatever, conflict, bullying, stealing from you, whatever this situation is, it's very hostile. And they were probably giving to other people. So you need to focus on your self-love because they were probably just a fraud. They're a liar, lazy, jealous, whatever. And so you've got to do that, defending yourself, having resilience and courage, protect your heart, all that situation again. Because your heart's hurt here. You're, you need to protect your heart. I feel like you're just going around and around and around. And then you're not speaking your truth. You need to speak your truth. Some of you I feel like are because it's upright, but I feel like you need to speak your truth. Tell me more. You could be somebody who's very nurturing and healing and empathetic and sensitive and caring. Um, and I feel like what you want is somebody who, you know, has money and is, is financially successful and happy family life and... So they're giving you security and I feel like that's what you want. You want that family life with the, it doesn't mean you want new kids, but I mean you want that happy security, happy family life with money. And I feel like you're not going to get that with this person, but I also feel like you need to be able to speak your truth. Um, 
you need to stand up for yourself, be more confident, be assertive. And maybe that's why the throat chakra came out because here it's also talking about you being assertive and being confident. You've been left out in the cold from somebody. And I feel like this is how it's going to keep being unless you break the cycle. You're going round and round and round. I don't know if you need to energetically cut cords. I feel like you do for a lot of you. If you haven't already, it may take a couple of times depending how long you're with this person, but I feel like you need to break the cords because you're still hanging on and you haven't blocked their number. You still haven't got rid of them. You may have kids with this person or for some of you, that's not going to suit everybody, but it's also about um, like working on you and your needs, you've got teaching and learning. You've got the exact same card that you already got over here. Oh, no, you didn't. I think you got it somewhere else, didn't you? Oh, forgiving and learning here. You haven't learned. I don't, still don't feel like you've learned from this situation. You need to work on you and get self-love and self-worth because if you did, you would realise you deserve better. Forgive yourself. Forgive them. Just, yeah. I feel like you're just not learning and you're repeating the cycles over and over and over and over. And that's why the round and round's there. I just feel like you need to, yeah, tell me more cancer. I just realised I didn't split them, but that's okay. The right card will come out. Yeah, you've got to love you for you and know that you deserve the best. Be treated like a goddess. Um... But you need to get out, get out of your comfort zone and go and experience life. You know, like I feel like you're, it's easier to stay in your comfort zone than it is to get out there. So. Make some healthier choices like self-love and self-care. It's in reverse. And I feel like you are healing from something that was very toxic and caused you heartbreak. last cancer somebody cheated for sure you got the cheater story so somebody was cheated on and it causes trust issues you need to heal those past hurts to change your future as i said break the cycle learn from failures as they say um don't try to fix others you don't go into a relationship thinking i'm going to fix them you know, you want to heal yourself so you can attract the best partner you can um, and trust that the universe will help you find that person. Um, you are the creator of your, of your reality. You need to manifest what it is you want, not what you don't want. So stop focusing on the crap, the devil energy, the cheater, liar, whatever, and stop manifesting that, like I said here. Um, release any baggage you have. You need to let go. You need to identify and heal patterns that infect impact sorry your relationships hanging on to past hurts and issues you are you're hanging on to the past people even if it's energetically but have you blocked their number have you got rid of this person out of your life i don't feel like you have you need to seek partners who core values align with your own and i don't think that's happening because it's in reverse take a break i feel like you need to just get away but i feel like you're not you need to be aware of dating patterns. You're not. You haven't broken the cycle. You're still break, you're still making the same, same things, getting into the same kind of relationships. It's all the same kind of, same kind of crap. Um, so I feel like you need to work on that. You need to get some self love and self worth because if you did, you wouldn't be putting up with this crap any longer. But anyway, that's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you with the next reading. Thanks for watching. Bye.